Welcome again in my retouching tutorial. In the last lesson I showed you how to clean up the hair before I showed you how to clean up the skin and today I'm going to show you how to retouch with curves. If you want to explore more about curves I highly recommend you my course, the link is in the description, two hours about the curves from very beginner to professional. And right now I'm going to show you how you can simply retouch your image using curves. You see, the technique we're going to use is called dodging and burning. Dodging simply means painting with light, brightening uh, the specific areas, and dodging means going to the uh, dark colors, so painting with the dark colors. We will be finding on the skin and the bright and dark spots. So the two bright spots will be slightly darkening to even out the skin and the dark spots will be slightly uh, brightening also to even out the skin. So what I'm going to do, I need to create two curve adjustment layers. The reason is because uh, one has to be uh, brightening and the other has to be darkening. So one layer will be Dutch so you know this one will be for brightening and the other will be burn so will be darkening i won't be really getting into the details like i say uh, much more details um, in my premium courses but of course uh, we don't really have time for this so i will be just showing you the process how it is done uh, to do that uh, i'm slightly pulling up my curve so I'm brightening the image and then I'm inverting the layer. With burn, I'm pulling the curve down so the image will become slightly darker and I will also invert this layer uh, to cover this up. So I have those two inverted layers and what will happen, uh, I'm of course going to choose a brush and I'm going to paint with white color of the brush. So it's very important to make sure you paint with white color. And as you can see, I inverted these masks. Uh, when I'm going to paint with white color on the mask, as you can see, the effect that is applied over here will become visible because also the layer mask uh, will be turning into white color. Of course, I'm not going to paint with such a strong pressure, but I'm going to set the flow at around 5% and of course I will be painting with soft edged brush so this is very important to customize your brush into soft edged brush. I'm also sharing my brush in my course and of course it's only possible to do with Wacom tablet. Uh, I can see on this image uh, as you can also I believe see it's not really flat texture here I have some of the white spots so uh, this uh, bright areas I would like paint a little bit over here and over here to darken this but I understand it might be really difficult to see which areas has to be painted that's why uh, very often pretty much always I'm uh, coming with um, a black and white layer so I'm just choosing uh, saturation I'm going to desaturate uh, this and then turn this into color uh, to preserve uh, the colors uh, itself and just to uh, see uh, uh, to see luminosity values and this is still not very visible so I'm using another curve to darken this image and make a little bit more contrast so now we can clearly see uh, what needs to be done on the image. You can of course always manipulate with this curve. So here I have the bright spots. I would be painting with dark color just to darken and even this out. Of course this process take maybe even half an hour. Uh, if you are after some sort of practice, I've been doing this for uh, quite long already so I don't see issue but you can see the difference already and of course uh, the Dutch uh, I will be painting the 
dark areas. I've seen many retouchers uh, keep the size of the brush as a uh, extremely small. I don't really like it. I like to keep it quite big, and I'm just um, painting the biggest, uh, most visible areas because I don't want the image to be overdone, and I don't really want to work on the so-called pixel level uh, because uh, that's that's a look that is not really desirable anymore so that's why i keep a little bit bigger size of the brush so we did a really small amount of work and i'm not going to stay with you and show you all of this but i believe you can clearly see the difference already how the image is changing and why what is it all about uh, if you really want to explore more and explore more not only about just retouching but adjusting the colors and uh, sorting out the colors if you if some issues would appear uh, then i really recommend you to check out my courses um, uh, i always uh, make them available with huge discounts so you never pay the full price uh, if you go through my link or other uh, kind of promotion so I, I really think it's affordable for everyone uh, the prices never go higher than uh, maximum $30 so may maybe it's worth if if you're working in this area uh, such an investment could be worth so this is small part of work we did uh, you know how to start you have this information many of you ask me um, what is it all about so uh, this is the uh, lesson that uh, showing you and of course I'm going to see you very soon once again uh, with uh, another tutorial uh, about retouching um, maybe last one from uh, this small series I may have made over here so thank you for watching and see you soon